Hi, welcome to Drew Code Sports Talk. I am your host, Andrew Wright. Over here to my right, your left, is my co-host, Cody Johnson. And when Cody and I are going to be talking about the college football playoff. It's all set, Cody. Uh, first, did the committee get the decision right to get Alabama at the number four spot? Also, we're going to be talking about who wins the national championship. That's the most important. Obviously. <laughs> and also, the controversy that's going on, should Ohio State have gotten the four spot um, over Alabama? We're going to be uh, talking about all that in this video. All right. Cody, Alabama got the number four spot. Did the committee get it right with putting Alabama at the number four spot? I'm going to go with yes. And the reason why I say that is because Alabama's only loss was to an Auburn team who um, lost their game. So it really kind of it's a really kind of weird way where that kind of cancels out. However, with Ohio State losing to uh, Iowa earlier this year by 30 plus points, and they're completely just an average team, nothing exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, Ohio State had a great resume going in, but really I think the committee, when they're splitting hairs, you have that one bad loss, and Bama had a really close one to a really good team anyways. Um, so I think they got it right. I'm, I was wrong. I said that I don't think Bama was getting in, but Roll Tide, they're in. So we'll see. What about you? Roll Tide. Um, Alabama getting into the number four spot, I have no no problem with it. I know last week you said you don't think they should have gotten in. Right. If, only if, I think it was, if Auburn gets in. Right, if they um, won, yes. And, and unfortunately, Auburn didn't get in. I would have liked to have seen the playoff. I thought it would be really weird to see a playoff without Alabama, first of all. Yeah. Um, I'm a homer uh, for USC, but i got to be honest. The, the committee got it right. I mm -hmm. mean... USC lost badly to Notre Dame. Yes, it's a ranked team. You can make all the argument as you want. Um, but they had two losses against two ranked teams, of course. But in the end, you had two losses versus a team that had one loss. Right. Did they play anybody? Not really, except for the, the teams in their conference. Auburn is a, is a good team. It's a rivalry game. Mm -hmm. So them losing to Auburn really isn't that big of a factor to me. And Nick Saban already had kind of an iffy record going against them when they were in a top 10 uh, team anyway. So that's just in history that they've always struggled. And plus, yeah. the Iron Bowl is one of the classics, so it can go either way in a year. Exactly. It, it's a rivalry game. You can't really... Honestly, you can't take too much away from a rivalry game. Um, but... Um, yeah, Alabama. They were the they were the ones who needed to be in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Ohio State got destroyed by Iowa. Yeah. And and USC got destroyed by Notre Dame, and that they're the victim of their own demise. I mean, Pretty that's much. that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Um, so uh, the committee, hey, even though everyone's giving you crap. You got it right, so <laughs> I can't, I can't Kudos, argue with it. Kudos, finally. <laughs> All right, Cody, who do you have winning the national championship and why? Um. Okay. I. I. You know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm gonna say Oklahoma because of Baker Mayfield. I'm actually drinking the Kool Aid. I think he's gonna win the Heisman. He's just too much. Um, He's too energetic. He's got this charisma about him. He just is the epitome of what kind of, in a sense, the Heisman is going for. Not as far as, like, crotch grabbing or anything like that. That's not what I mean. I mean, shoot, look at Johnny Manziel. He won it his <laughs> freshman year. Throwing footballs there. Yeah. One month. But anyways, my point being is he's just, he's a, he's a guy that everyone wants to play for, and he makes the right plays. He's actually throwing his receivers open. He's not just throwing up passes like Johnny Manziel used to do. Because Johnny Manziel was honestly lightning in a bottle. And even in his year two, he... May plays on improvising, but with Mayfield, you can just tell it's not improvision. It's a lot of practice, and he's very competitive. His team actually wants to fight for him, and you can tell even though they had that really weird press conference where they cried, he missed two plays. I don't know why they cried about that. <laughs> Anyways, you can just tell, though, his team, their hearts were breaking for him. I think he'll win the Heisman, and I think this is his year to win it. Um, you know, Oklahoma has always been one of those teams that have always been on the doorstep, and I think that this is the year they get over it, and I think it's because Mayfield. I think that I have a feeling that Bama will get into the national championship, and I, and I have a feeling that Mayfield will find a way to get over that defense because Bama's offense isn't very strong. He has... Nick Saban always has a really odd offense, and he hasn't really had any offensive repertoire this season or the last two seasons, essentially since he lost all of his number one running backs in Julio Jones and Amari Cooper. Their offense has always just been kind of iffy. It used to be a powerhouse, not so much now. But I'm going to say Oklahoma, Mayfield, I think, is going to be 
Heisman, and that's what I'm seeing it right now play out. Uh, that's not a bad pick. I, I, I don't I don't disagree with that. Um, I don't think that's a bad take. Honestly, I think uh, the only bad take you could have in this playoff would be to pick Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and I, I wanna, that's that sounds really bad, but um, Georgia's a really good team. They got in there for a reason. Right. Um, but I just I don't. Out of all four teams, they're the weaker of the four. So yeah, I um, mean, it's not not including seeding, of course, because according to seeding, Bama is. But let's be honest, Bama is probably the favorite going into it. Yeah. Just how the seeding works out makes them look like the lower the lower of the team. So yeah. that Clemson game that they're going to have will is going to be a, essentially a national championship type of game. So yeah. I. I only trust two teams coming into here, and, and I like Oklahoma, but I like their offense. I don't like their defense. The two teams that I trust are Clemson and Alabama, and ironically, they're going to be facing each other right. in the first uh, game or first playoff game. Right. Um, Bama has the most experienced quarterback in the playoffs coming into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And that's Jalen Hurts. And that's only because he was there last year. But he was in the national championship. He went toe-to-toe with uh, Deshaun Watson, mm-hmm. who's also lighting it up in the NFL. Before I'm not saying injury. Yeah. I'm not saying that Jalen Hurts is um, is the next, you know, Deshaun Watson, mm-hmm. but I feel like because he's been here before you, ha- you have to trust them. And also, I, the only reason I trust those two teams is because of the defense. I'm a firm believer in defense wins championships. Right. And I don't think that is going to be any different this year. I feel like Alabama and Clemson coming into uh, the playoff have the best defenses. Mm-hmm. Clemson can go to toe-to-toe with Alabama, but I trust Alabama. And then I look at always the head coach. In college football, you can get away with talent, yes. But in a playoff, Nick Saban, for some reason, really just gets things done. Yep. And he's if you're going to beat him, you're going to barely beat him. Right. And so I really trust I really trust Nick Saban. I like him a little bit more than Dabo Sweeney. I think Dabo Sweeney is a great coach. Right. Um, but that's why I have... But kind of actually to prove your point on you can get away with talent. Maybe his team is just more talented. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a great coach. He's been there for a long time. But... Yeah. You can maybe just see that this Oklahoma team is playing above the talent, and it has honestly has really nothing to do with the coach, just more so of the camaraderie and the team that's having. You know, yeah, I, you know, and and that's what I, I like Alabama. I think they have the the most NFL talent. Like what you were kind of alluding to, is they have all these guys that always come in every year and just step up. I mean, it's like the Patriots mantra of, uh, you know, next man up, next right. man up. And that's exactly what Alabama does. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I trust them a lot more. I, I believe in an experienced team. I believe in a, uh, in college sports, you have to have a great head coach. Even in basketball, right. it usually works out like that. And um, you gotta have uh, talent. And yeah. I think Alabama has a lot of talent. A uh, great head coach and their experience. Right. So, all right, Andrew. So, I actually kind of already answered this one leading into that question I answered for the national championship and if Bama got in. What are your thoughts actually of Ohio State getting not in the playoffs? I think if you're an Ohio State fan, listen up. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I think out of USC versus Ohio State, if Alabama had two losses, Alabama would not have been in. It doesn't matter who they would have lost to. Alabama did not have the strength of schedule. Because if it were between those three teams, they didn't have the strength of schedule out of USC, Ohio State, and Alabama. Mm -hmm. Out of all those, they did not have the best. USC lost to two ranked teams who are still currently ranked. Mm -hmm. Iowa is a 7-5 team who Ohio State lost by 30. Right. Are you kidding me that you guys are complaining that you should have got the number four spot? No, you should have got the number six spot. USC should have been at that number five spot. The Pac-12 is has been a little bit better than the Big Ten. That's right, I said it. They've been a little bit better than I was the waiting for him to blow up. The Big Ten has better coaches. But this year, you have Washington State, who is ranked. Mm-hmm. You have, obviously, USC. UCLA has not been an easy win for anyone. Right. Yes, they are 6-6. Six and six. I get that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you have Oregon, who actually has been better this year. Mm-hmm. They're still 7-5, and five, of course. I understand that again. But 
what you have is the Pac-12, everyone is beating everyone up. Stanford is a tough win. Washington has been, has been great the last two years. I'm telling you, the Pac-12 has been a little bit better this year, and USC lost to two ranked, pa or not Pac-12 teams, one uh, ranked Pac-12 team, mm -hmm. the other was um, an independent team. So your conclusion is Ohio State deserves the spot that they got, but you believe USC should have gotten the fifth ranking. Yeah, and I understand five and six doesn't really matter now, but what I'm saying is Ohio State should not have been complaining. Mm -hmm. Um, that they got the raw end of the deal. No, you you had a great schedule. You lost to Oklahoma, and you lost to a Iowa team that is in a crappy bowl game. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. USC has Notre Dame and Washington State, two teams that are ranked mm -hmm. that they lost to. Yes, they got destroyed by Notre Dame, but it's a ranked op opponent. So strength of schedule, and you have two losses. Both teams have two losses. Uh -huh. USC has the better of the two. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching our uh, videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Drew Coat Sports Talk. And also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which is, ironically, Drew Coat Sports Talk.